morning, botai. Um, so it's well known that although beverages don't need a bracha during the suda, if a person's having a bread meal, you don't need to make a bracha on uh, drinks that you're drinking during the meal because drinks help the food to be digested, so it's considered part of the meal. Although, Marana Shulchan Aruch writes that a Yiddish Shamayim should preferably, every time you're sitting down to a bread meal, you should sit down in the place before you do netila, the place where you're about to eat, make a she'akol on your drink, drink a little bit, and only then go and do netila and sit down. But that's for Yiddish Shamayim. Not Yiddish Shamayim. Uh, they just regular, you know, they, they drink during the meal and you don't make a bracha. The exception to that rule, says the Gemara in Masechet Barachot of Mem Alef, also quoted by Manan Shulchan Aruch in Siman Kuf Ein Dalit, is wine. Wine is something so special, it's Kovea Bracha Le'atzmo, which means even in the middle of a bread meal, the halacha is that wine is so significant that it's not something that is just there to help digest. Wine is there, it's being drunk as, you know, it's a chefza unto, it's, unto itself. And therefore, la'lacha, it requires its own biracha. Uh, for the same reason, yain is poter kol mina mashkim. It's so chashuv that unlike other beverages, wine, when you make a biracha, borek reyagif, and on wine, you don't have to make a biracha on any other beverage. Now, obviously, if a person drank, a person did the itzad that Maran says and made a borek reyagif before the meal, as we do every lil v'yom shabbat v'yom tov with kiddush, it's obvious that you will not make another Borepriya Gefin during the meal because it was already Niftar with what you said before the meal will continue in coming days. Have a wonderful day.